Hi guys, welcome to iNetwork365 and in this video I am going to show you how to install help desk ticket system using HESC. So first of all what you have to do, you have to download the HESC. So I am going to open my uh, Google Chrome. So from here I am going to type hesc.com. Then you will find these two categories. So this is paid version and this is the free version. So click download. So you here you can see HES2, HES3 and this both are free and this is the paid version. So what I am going to do is I am going to select HES3 and click download. So here they will give some mathematical questions so you just need to answer it. Then click download. Okay. So the file is downloaded. So next thing what you have to do is you need to download XAMPP to do this configuration. So I just type in Google XAMPP and here you got the uh, website. Uh, so you have to click on this. Okay. So uh, click download. Okay. Uh, you need to click on XAMPP for Windows and you are downloading the latest version which is 8.08 .08, I guess. Okay, so next step what you have to do is uh, you need to extract this file. So I click on show in folder and here you can see the file. So I will right click on this and select extract all. So here you can leave it as default or else you can change its name or else you can change the path also is not a problem. So I will just change the folder name. I will give it help desk ticket and I will click extract. Okay, so now you can see the file which is extracted into this folder, help desk ticket. So this folder you can find here. So the next step what you have to do is you need to install XAMPP. So I will double click on this. Click yes. Click on OK. Next next and if you need to change the path you can change but I'm going to leave it as default so click next next so I'm going to take this untick this option I'm not going to learn anything here so I'll click next next and install Okay, so now installation is finished. Uh, so now click on finish. Okay. So now what you have to do is you need to click on uh, config. I mean, before you click on config, uh, you should copy this file. So I'll just right click this file, copy. And I'll go to this location, ZAMP, and you can see HT docs. So on here I'll paste it. Okay, so I'll click on start. Then I'll click on admin. So now what I am going to do, I am going to configure the database. So I will type php my admin. Uh, again I need to connect, retry. Okay, I need to uh, start my SQL, so I will click on start. So now let's try. Okay. So make sure you start MySQL also, otherwise you cannot configure. 
So now what I will do, I will click on uh, new over here and I will click on SQL. Okay, so you are going to configure database over here. So this is the command uh, to configure the database. So just copy this and you can paste here. So click on go and you can see now everything is configured. So there is no any error. So everything is configured correctly. Okay. So now since it's finished, what I'm going to do, I'm going to close this and again I'm going to type local host, local host, help desk ticket. So this help desk ticket is the folder which I created uh, when I was extracting hesk. So after that I'll put forward slash install. So you will get this menu, so click on the first option, install HESC. So here scroll down and again click I accept the agreement. So from here the database name is HESC and the database user login is going to be HESC owner. So you can copy this, HESC owner and this is the password. So I will just copy this, HESC. And after that, the admin, you can give any password. So I'm going to give the same password here for the administrator account to log into the HESC. So after that, you can select your time zone. So here I'm going to select a, select a time zone. Okay, so I click continue. Now you can see the database is successfully created. So I click on skip directly to, directly to the settings. Okay. So now it is saying you need to delete this folder. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to open my file explorer. So XAMPP, HTD docs and this is the folder which I cre created, help desk ticket. So here I am going to delete this install folder. Okay. So after deleting and if you click refresh, you will get this one. So in here you need to uh, give uh, some configuration. So I am going to type here I network for the website title, I network. So if you need, you can give your URL. So in here, I'm going to leave it as default. Uh, then you can give your help desk title. So if that also, if you want, you can uh, give any name you need. So the rest of the settings, I'm going to just leave a default uh, over here. And I'm going to click Save Changes. Okay. So now the configuration is done. So this is your ticket portal. Okay. Now, for example, now if a user in your company, an employee in your company, if he needs to write a ticket, what he can do, he can open his web browser and uh, he can type uh, the website URL, HTTP, localhost. Okay, sorry, it's localhost. Okay, HTTP localhost help desk. Okay, so he will be getting this web page. So from here he can click on submit ticket and he can type his details over here. For example, uh, so I am going to just type John, his email address, inetwork365.com. So he can type the priority level, medium, high. Then the subject, we can say uh, Outlook is not working, the subject title and he can type any message he needs. My Outlook keeps hanging and requires activation. So if you need, you can attach any attachments over here and click submit ticket. So now you can see the uh, ticket ID over here uh, which was created for you and if you go to your admin account, 
which is over here and if I click refresh you can see uh, there is the uh, the ticket which was created so if I click on this I can see who is the person uh, writes this ticket it is John and what is his message the outlook keeps hanging and it requires activation so after you uh, like resolve this issue you can type here the issue is resolved or you can type any message you need and you can click submit as resolved or else you can put a submit as uh, waiting reply anything you need over here you can uh, select for example if the ticket is on progress you can submit as in progress or is it in hold you can type it on hold or else if it is resolved you can click on submit as resolved so you can see reply submitted now if this user if he needs to view his ticket he can come here and he can see the ticket status so the ticket status is resolved so there are more settings over here so if you go tools you can see uh, like uh, you know if you need to configure email so all these things can be done in this HR help desk ticket system okay so if you need if you need a team member for example now you can see by default it is administrator so if you need a team member to configure so we'll say that team member's name is Stuart and you can type his email Stuart at inetwork 365.com and you can type his username Stuart you can give any password you want so I'm going to give Stuart123 Stuart123 so click next so you can uh, give admin access or else if you need to give staff access you can give staff access and you can give permissions here so what are the permissions uh, you know like the things which he can do so I'm just going to leave it as default but if you need you can uh, select the permissions which he need and you know the permission which he doesn't need so I'm going to leave it as default and click next next and if you go back this is signature so if you need to give signature you can give a signature for him uh, so after that I'm going to leave this default settings next and here also like he will be getting these notifications so if you need you can uh, uncheck the ones which you don't need then after that click create user okay so now let's try to log into Stuart's account so I'll log out type Stuart his password and click click here to login okay so now this is Stuart's account so if I click show tickets so there is no any tickets over here so if any tickets is created he will also be able to view those tickets so let's try that one so let me create once again one more ticket okay so I'm going to create a new ticket so we'll say this time it's uh, uh, Jerry so I'm going to type his details so I'm going to give priority medium so same thing uh, I'll just type something else over here and click submit okay so this is the ticket number so let's see if he's getting this thing okay now you can see he also got the ticket so if I click over here you can see these tickets so the message you can see the one which I have written so if something is on progress or if it is uh, submitted so you can type the message over here and you can click uh, resolved or or else if it is on progress you can click on progress so for now I'm going to click on progress okay so now let's see the ticket over here so you can see uh, the message which I have entered and also you can see that it is on progress so sometimes if it is resolved that you the user itself can click resolve or else the administrator itself can click it's resolved so uh, there are more options like I said you can do you can configure email so that if a user writes a ticket uh, the admin or the person who's in charge will receive the notification in his uh, email 
So all these things can be configured in this help desk. So guys, then that's all about this video and I hope you guys understand, uh, understood the video. So until next time, please subscribe, share and like my video. Thank you.